that could have been a really serious, serious situation. A serious and scary situation for people in Bonita Springs. Teenagers going around the neighborhood blowing up mailboxes. Yeah, neighbors say that they didn't know what was happening when they heard the loud noises. They thought it was a car backfiring. Four in your corners, Lisa Greenberg, live in the neighborhood where all this happened. And she's talking to people who say this could have been a lot worse. Lisa? Well, Patrick and Amy, three different mailboxes in this neighborhood were blown up, and two of them have since been replaced. But you can see this man's mailbox was blown off the post. Now it's just a mess of twisted metal. And he says in his 13 years of living here, he's never seen anything like this. In this quiet Bonita Springs neighborhood at the foot of this driveway, this mangled metal used to be Rick Barron's mailbox. This is my actual mailbox that used to be sitting right here. These kids blew it up. A mix of rubbing alcohol and chlorine blew it right off its post. And after a while, when it sits in here, this is what happens. The Lee County Sheriff's Office says these three men, 21-year-old Alexander Dovey and his two 18-year-old friends, Alan Demler and Hunter Bates, admitted they were driving around blowing up mailboxes when stopped by deputies. Angry, very angry. Thugs. They're thugs. It all started around 8 o'clock. We heard a pop. We weren't sure what it was. We thought uh, somebody backfired on a car. I heard a loud boom, like a firecracker sound, and didn't think twice about it because it's spring break. So I assumed the kids were, you know, firecracker in around. Less than a mile away, Pamela Baker's mailbox was also hit. It exploded and blew the whole mailbox apart. While Baker wonders what these guys were thinking. Now there's three guys, young men, that have ruined their lives for a prank. It's it's just so senseless. Barron's glad it wasn't worse. I'm lucky I didn't go and check the mail at 8 o'clock last night, put my hand in there. Who knows? I, w I may not have had my hand right now. At last check, these three guys are still behind bars. And because this is a federal crime, each one could be facing up to three years per mailbox. So this is, could be some serious jail time here. Reporting live in Bonita Springs, Lisa Greenberg, Fox 4 in your corner. Okay, thank you, Lisa.